everybody, it's Wes Adams here with Autodesk Gameware at GDC 2012. We're here with Frank DeLise, Senior Product Manager for the Games Group. Frank, what are you seeing at the show today? Uh, what's cool? What have you got going on? So it's a great year to be at Autodesk. Uh, we have a great show at GDC. Um, this year we really focused on bringing everything underneath Gameware. So, you know, we've started this Gameware brand last year and, and we've been acquiring a lot of middleware over through the year. In fact, we recently acquired Grip, uh, which is uh, uh, one of the products we're showing is Population. So this year's GDC was all about showing how all these products are coming together under Autodesk. So the, the booth is all branded about Gameware and we put a, together an exciting project around it. So normally, um, you know, our middleware has all been uh, individual groups creating their own technology. We wanted to bring that all together. So we created a, a challenge. Within two months, can we create a game using all of our middleware? So we basically put together a uh, about a 10 minute single player game. That's all it really is, it's an integration example, right? Uh, so we're not distributing the game yet, the public, it's kind of more of just showing how the tools come together. We want to make it challenging, it's actually fun, a lot of fun to play. You know, it's uh, jetpack sections and a lot, a lot of cool stuff. It's kind of like more of a Ratchet and Clank, kind of Metro, uh, Metroid type game. But the cool thing about the game is actually when you go through the game, you have these collectibles. And the collectibles actually tell you about the gameware uh, products that are used. So you can pick up the scale form uh, gameware uh, collectible, and it'll tell you, oh, scale form is used for the user interface, da da da, da. So it's a cool um, marketing piece as well as a game piece. That's great. So it sounds like you, you really had a challenge there to overcome in a two-month time period. That's extremely tight. What, like, what kind of hurdles were you able to overcome by, by using all the synergistic products? Sure. Great. By well, using Unreal Engine 3, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's an, an awesome engine right out of the box, right? So, but the thing is, we wanted to really put some new dynamics around it. We wanted to add some, um, again, like the population characters with these new behavioral trees to make these squid minions that we have in the game act as these little uh, cool characters that chase you and turn into these little balls and roll at you. And so it was a great challenge to actually take the power of Unreal Engine 3 with our middleware from Beast, Scale Form, Skyline Technology, Population, you know, HIK, so a lot of our middleware technology underneath this, this one game. Put them together. Uh, give that to a consulting group, one's called Athos, something called Dev Support, and Little Zoo. So it took three contractors and said, hey, work together, make this game by GDC, and they did it. And they knocked it out of the park. Uh, it looks awesome. It's a fun game to play. So Frank, I noticed that you're walking on the show floor with a Windows 8 tablet. Uh, that's new. That's fresh. What's what's on that tablet today? What can we see? Yeah, so we're we're really looking at what's uh, what's possible with a new uh, Windows 8 coming out and uh, tablet devices. So we made a technology preview about what you can do with these new devices. So we're calling it FBX Share. We're pretending like in a production environment, what would you want to do uh, with a tablet device, right? And in a production environment, you have an art director and you want to send files back and forth to each other. You don't want to have to open Max or Mai to view stuff. So we made an application where you can actually load the FBX files View animations, materials, and uh, you know, be able to share content back and forth. So here on the Metro user interface, I can grab FBX Share, and it loads up uh, FBX animation. Now I can send that through an email or send it however I want to the device through the cloud. And I can view the animations here in 3D, so it's actually an FBX file, which is really cool. But if I'm the art director, I'm saying, yeah, you know, his run cycle's too fast. I want to send it back to him with some comments. I can actually swipe to the side here and share this back with any application. So any applications you have, maybe it's a, uh, an, a mail program or if it's a sketchbook, I can send it to sketchbook and make some comments. So here we have like a quick example of sending the screenshot to another application and you can write up some comments of it and send it back to the, to the uh, guy working on the art. So it's a really cool idea of what you can do with Windows 8 uh, tablet and Metro.